Okie dokie, I wasn't actually expecting to do a ship review today, but here we are. Hello YouTubers, this is Anubafire. It's been a pretty long day, but we're here. The new 400i is flight ready in 315, which is in PTU. So let's take a look at this ship. This will be a slower tour. My goal is to not make you feel sick with rapid movements, and I'd like to be complete. It's a fairly large ship with 42 cargo, crew of three, and two decks. The three crew stations are in the flight deck. The pilot station is all holographic with a decent view. Somehow cluttered but visible and useful all at the same time. Everything seems to be in a good place. The left and right seats have the usual crew functions plus access to the top and lower rear turrets. The corridor directly behind leads to the crew area. It's very nice with a table area across from a kitchenette, all space marble. There are windows on the sides and a beautiful panoramic with a holographic table. The view is pretty good, actually. It's an origin ship, so you'd probably expect that. They take that very seriously. There are two bedrooms. One has a pair of beds, lockers, and storage. The other is the captain's quarters with even more storage and a desk. There are no additional beds in this ship as it's not intended to carry VIPs. The washroom is tiny and it's fully motorized and crazy. Down a level, there's a central room that has two storage rooms, components in the walls, and there's a room both fore and aft. Four is where the docking collar is, plus the main entrance is in the floor. It opens up like a ramp. If you look past the spinning blue ball thingy, you can see the X1 bay. And I do feel that it's only accessible from the outside, as I haven't found a way to get it from the inside yet, plus it's exactly the size of only the bike. In this space, there are also storage lockers for the crew.
If you go back one, the rear room is large with a lift in the middle. In here, there are three escape pods and the components line the interior walls. It's listed as 220 Warbond and honestly, it's quite, quite different than the Connie. It offers something completely unique. And overall, I like it despite its odd look, but you can experiment with the skins and maybe find something that matches your taste, right? I'm gonna run out the rest of this video in silence. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. Comment in the comments with your comments about this new ship. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.